Hey guys, Nathan Brendan Masters, and these are the prototypes for Curse Risen. We have the main cover and the sketch cover. This is the cover that everybody seems to like, so I want to make sure I get a prototype of that. And of course, the sketch cover. Now these come to me, these have the Bristol board covers, and uh, basically uh, I fulfill them, and you know, I draw on them, and uh, I send them out to you. But I am incredibly pleased with how this came out this looks oh my god it's beautiful there's thorn on the inside back cover she's a completely new character that is the lillian temple and uh this is what the art looks like uh we start out with the discussion about damius's wedding which he had no participation or choice in the planning of and uh, we have Lauren over here on the right, which I was really pleased with that. She's in her pose. She looks just like I imagined her. I was really happy with this. And uh, this is a conversation about the dress. It's her and Michelle. You guys remember that. I add a little bit more information about their friendship and how they play off each other. And on the right over there, we introduce Hanover. And again, this is a different take on the whole uh, Savani Harrison situation. I streamlined that so you get the conversation with her and Night Evil. But there's not this discussion of punishment because Hanover is not part of the Sisterhood of Lilith anymore. And you guys may remember this if you have the Hexcraft Mechanics Ultimate Control book. This is where we're introduced to Nottis Tal Bane and Serpina. Uh, we're introduced there. She kind of breaks into, well, she doesn't really break into his office. She comes to his office uh, uninvited. And uh, this is going to be a, a pretty interesting thing. Uh, I don't necessarily, I don't think I can show you uh, the next pages. This is a little bit too spicy for YouTube, but uh, you get it. You, you, the story is much more streamlined. The art looks amazing. And yeah, I'm very happy with this product. I think you'll be very happy with it as well. My big concerns were pixelation and the, how the colors would look. Everything looks good. So I'm going to start my editing and then finish up Monster Girl AI. And then it's back to the printer. These are the last two days, guys. It's on both Kickstarter and Indiegogo. The 48-hour Ashen cover is on Indiegogo. Links will be in the description. You guys take it easy. Asta.